And welcome back to the long run where we've started playing Crosscode. Yeah, I don't think that emote slots work that way, Jason. Anyway, let's get on to Autumn's Rise. Now we get introduced to the concept of combat rank. So your combat rank is displayed in the upper right corner. By defeating enemies, your rank will increase. The higher combat rank, enemies will drop more items, including special rare items. When you're out of the uh, when you're out of combat, you'll enter the cooldown phase. When the blue line disappears, combat will end and you'll lose your rank. However, when you enter combat during cooldown, you keep your combat rank. Hi! Hello, Miss Seeker. Sorry we're to, hear, to see you here on Shadu. As the humble part of our endeavor here, I'm trying my best to aid Seekers. But my skills are just not on the same level as yours are. Might I ask you to help me out, dear Seeker? Superb! Come back to me when you've defeated the Hedgehog. So let's go ahead and uh, add a good portion of these to our favorites. So defeat 10 hedgehogs. These guys will not aggro us unless we actually attack them. You can generally tell by their health bar if they will aggro or not. Anyway, let's see how these hedgehogs will fare. But that's simple enough. Laser bridge! Hedgehog, but uh, it'll keep our uh, our street going. We'll come back to you later. Oh boy. Yeah, you have the right idea. Let's do something. The throwing enemies into the water does cause them damage. Except that uh, Emily kind of got knocked out. So maybe we should cool down too. I'm gonna go ahead and escape from battle. Not through here though. Out of my way. Okay, Emily's back. Oh no, I didn't want to pull more things. Dang it. 
probably gonna serve me well if I keep missing. Do you ever wonder what kind of music those things are listening to? They do seem very much into it, huh? So we're going to escape from combat by pressing select. Our HP will recover in full. Nice and quick. And we're good to go. Also, one thing that you will notice in this game is that there are a lot of uh, platforming puzzles. I'm going to try to not worry too much about all of them. I need someone to help. Oh, my hello, Seeker. How very fortunate. I just finished my preparations. I even found the exact kind of Seeker I was looking for. Good Seeker. I'm in desperate need of help. Yes. Yes. Wait, you're still here? If that is most unexpected, I must say. People often rather choose to ignore me. I don't suppose you would like to help me? Really? Blended. Okay, let me introduce myself first. I'm Henry. Henry the Researcher. I study this fine moon's flora and fauna. What is your name? Leah. A fine name. A fine name indeed. I will remember it. She fashion. You see, I, I want to gather some data for Autumn's Rise. But now it seems that I can't, that, that I alone can't gather everything I want. The track of the ancients only allows seekers to find certain things. I compiled the list of things I need. First, I need some information about, uh, some items and information on the local wildlife. Additionally, I need a list of all the landmarks in this area. Finally, I need you to retrieve a probe I install further ahead. I would be honored if you would help me gather all the intel. That gives us five quests. Please re uh, find out what you can and return to me. Excuse me. Thank you so much for your help. And in case you're wondering what the probe looks like, it looks the same as the ones next to me. Okay, yeah, I see that a couple of your messages have gotten automated, uh, Jason, and that's weird that they got automated, but whatever. Um, unfortunately, they're more than five minutes old, so uh, I can no longer approve them. Uh, and thank you for the host, Jade. Uh, how do you stutter a silent letter? I think you mean more like a muted letter, like uh, the letter D. It's not particularly easy. Or the letter P, you know, even more awkward to try to stutter. But stutter stuttering through, like, text-based dialogue is always kind of weird. Blue Heart Spiromancer! So we meet again! 
Not you, not this guy again. Hey. Good. I see your level is now in an acceptable range. As if one minute of them, as if that one level would have made a big difference. However, your previous actions have not been forgotten. Being a cheater is bad as it is. But being a spearmancer displaying such dishonest behavior, it breaks my heart. What? The spearmancers are a noble yet underappreciated class. I cannot allow a player like you to further damage our reputation. Wait, you're a spearmancer too? Why, of course. You, don't you see my striking crimson outfit? Oh. Although I, I thought you were a five later with all that green and pointy hair. It's my style. It's plain to see that fashion is beyond your grasp. Sure. Anyway, I'm talking to you, blue haired spheromancer. Leah. I challenge you to a duel. Wait, what? Come oh, on, we just started playing. Well, see, we won't do it right here now. Let's have our duel at the entrance of Bergen Trail. I'll test your skills properly to make sure you don't use any more dishonest methods. Are you serious? Do you accept blue haired spirit answer? Yeah. Good. I'll be waiting for you. And the feels again. Are you sure it's okay to accept his challenge just like that? Knock off, it's your choice. And let's make sure you're, all, you're well prepared. I want you to kick this guy in there, yeah. Come on, let's train. Train indeed. Alright, so we got all of the, um, the hedgehogs that we need. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that in. Also, since I'm thinking about it, I would play an MMO by battling and challenging everyone? No. Wow, Miss Seeker, you really did it. Here's your rewards for it. Now we got a new weapon and a uh, pair of boots. Hello, Miss Seeker. Ready for another quest? I even have more equipment as a reward. We already have the stuff for it. Happy collecting, and remember that different plants yield different items. Wow, Miss Seeker, you really did it. Here's your rewards for it. And level up. Having my own style in RP. That? Yeah. Yeah. I can... I could definitely see doing that a little more, yeah. Unfortunately, we still have this rookie this rookie blade that we can't replace, but soon. for now, at least we do have a little bit better equipment. I'll say the first time that I uh, played this game, I played it with keyboard and mouse. And it is definitely not the ideal way to play. Um, for one thing, it made some controls a lot clunkier than they really deserve to be. And for another thing, uh, some of the later bosses get super intense and I actually ended up getting RSI in my left hand. 
from playing this game. Like it's it's not bad if I like don't use my right and my left hand all that much. But if I do try to play this game again with the keyboard and mouse, uh I am going to be in pretty bad pain. Might also apply for like some of the more intense um Oh right, I can't go this way. Some of the more intense keyboard and mouse games, but so far it hasn't happened for Risk of Rain 2. So at least there's that. Okay, so we need to kill two mad bullvines and three old hedgehogs. forgetting. Use your skills. Wrong button. Oh, yeah. Did we just beat up a cow wearing some kind of iron mask? I used to have cows in the neighborhood back when I was a child. I'll get used to these controls again someday. I will say though, having this menu up is actually a really good strategy when things get too intense because it is a good way to pause the game while still looking at your immediate situation. Uh, we're getting a bit low on health. I'll just cancel battle. Also, you'll notice in the bottom right there is a marker. And you'll notice that one tree glowing there. Stick tree. So we need to get up there somehow. Really, I should open with a combo. I was trying to push the cow into the water. Oops. Wrong button again. Thank you.
But yeah, it's actually kind of great that, uh, like, th this game really establishes the fact that you are playing a game and these people have a life outside of the game and they will talk about themselves. And I really enjoy that. fighting two of them. And that just leads us to this place here that we could have gotten up to the entire time. Ah. Now we can get up here and we can get this chest that we actually can't get. <laughs> Hedgehog is level 9 and we are level 6. I don't know if I'm down for that just yet. Hmm, I hope we don't get lost around here. Ah, over there! Seems we have to head northwest to reach Bergen Trail. I hope it's not too far. I'll have to log out sooner or later, you see. Oh, don't worry. I'll see you after. I'll stay up here until you beat Master Grasshead. And please don't hurry too much because of me. We have to make sure you're well trained, no? Alright then, c'est parti! That is right. We've been playing this game for a long while. Anyway, I suppose there's still time for you to face that duel. Come on, Nia! Find all the landmarks. We're probably halfway thick. Might be able to do that. Over here. Ooh. This looks a bit uh, unhealthy for me right now. This is timed. There we go. We got it though. And our reward is not accessible from this area. We're gonna have to come at this from the other side. Fortunately, these guys don't aggro, so let me 
answer is that. Trip again. Go back to old obelisk. <laughs> yeah, for uh, for business cop face. Okay, so I got all the items for that. Let's see. It's so off road two, pathway three, pathway four, pathway six is probably like here. But first of all, let's look around here. See if we can't find a path to that one tree. Or maybe that's one chest. Loose rock and dig here. Okay. Uh-oh. So that's the geo data. Jump? Yes, I can. Veggie wraps. didn't just go and screw myself by jumping down, did I? I think I did. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do this again. This is a very good game, but it is not a perfect game. So sometimes there is a bit of repetition and really strange and compl complex puzzles that probably go on for too long. just gotten up here this entire time. Like seriously. I mean you're not wrong, Terry. Sometimes though the problem exists between uh between controller and keyboard or something like that 
the problem begins with me. <laughs> Basically. Um... I did a great job at forgetting how I got here. <laughs> That's exactly what I was talking about. Yeah, you, you end up kind of getting a feel for how far you can jump. Okay, so we have cured one of the trees. I think I can actually get up to this platform now. How do I get up there? Aha! Theoretically, if I go to this map... More laser bridges! come back to that later. Fight an old hedgehog. See how well that goes. Or how poorly, as the case may be. 44, ouch. You did kill him. Yeah. Fuck, I do. I'm out here. Yeah. Good encounter. I am glad that items just kind of bounce into your position. You don't have to like run up and get every single one of them. Oh crap. I did not want to engage you. Oh, 
Alright. So we got that quest done. Let's see if we can get somewhere without accidentally punching someone in the face. Yeah, I got a blue shell. Now we can take out the uh, the jerk in first place. What's in here? doing this yet. That was what, are we level 6? Yeah, no way. Oh, that might be a bit of a help though. A level 13 weapon. Also, you'll notice, um, see if I can plug the year. Yeah, here. So, the game does keep uh, an average of all of your equipment, like what levels they are. So, you want to be in the green as much as possible. Um, if you end up in the red, then you might have some issues fighting things. I think if you're in the red too high, it might be detrimental to the amount of experience that you get. And if you're in the red too low, then you're not going to deal enough damage to really deal with enemies. Actually, something that, that is kind of funny that I discovered one, at one point is if, um, if you position yourself at such a point that you're in a safe spot, but that one of your party members, um, in trying to get to your location, is just going to keep jumping into the water, that means they're just going to keep receiving damage, receiving damage, and eventually, um, quote-unquote dying. But, uh, they actually have a special reaction to that. Like, what just happened? Something like that. testers for this game. The devs asked me to, te to test an almost finished new quest type. Oh cool. 
I'm kinda tired and you just came along, so wanna try it out? Nice! Good seat and enthusiasm. Oh, get this. You'll start right next to me. When you touch this checkpoint, another one will pop up. Your goal is to walk through every marker until you hit the last one. And the last one is over there. It'll only appear after you hit the last normal mark. Yeah, I know, but it's more fun that way, right? Well, at least you feel like running. Also, if you leave the map, all your, rob your progress is lost. Mia doesn't like this one bit, apparently. Another bummer, I know. Anyway. Ready to try? Awesome! As I said, just let's start by stepping on the first marker here. That actually kind of sucks. Oh. Game does have really good music. Go to the end, to the end and wait for you. You did it! Great job! And there was no problem, right? No sudden shocks or anything? Great! Great. Thanks a lot. Take this for your efforts. Hope we can meet again. So you can help me again, you know? Got a sandwich, pie sandwich, and chef sandwich. I just love the idea of pie sandwich. It's one of the few sandwiches that Leah can ask for by name. What kind of sandwich do you want, Leah? Hi! Hi, sandwich it is. distinctly remember this, you can't actually jump to those platforms. This guy specifically tells you you can't. Very roundabout path. Should I have to go back to this map in order to get over, over on the other side? There we go. So 
Good luck for that. Ah, yes. There we go. Now we can go over here. So we can hit this button. There is actually a reason for uh, wanting to hit all of the plants, which will become apparent later. And there we go. A little bit of an extra reward for making it the entire way through. Let's see what else we can get. It has been a little while since I've played this game, so I don't remember everything. So some of this is going to be a journey of rediscovery. chest. I think I can make that jump. Yeah, no. Yeah, it can get a little convoluted sometimes. I'm not gonna argue with that, Darian. Also, quest completed did someone else's job. To be fair, there there is such a thing as open beta testing. Hey, pleased to meet you, girl. Are you all interested in plants too? They got some mighty strange doohickeys inside, don't you think? Well, I'm Tata Lulips. Tata Tulips. Um, yeah. I've been taking a notion of finding and analyzing as many as I can. But that turned out to be a lot harder than I expected. See, getting at what's inside seems, uh, seems to, be, to only be doable by seekers. I can only collect what they bring me. Might y'all be interested in give me a hand? Much obliged, girl. That's, that there is mighty kind of y'all. First, let me give y'all this here. This handy little gizmo uh, help you, will help y'all keep track of your progress. Just keep hitting them plants and analyze them by getting them doohickeys. Y'all can check your progress in the menu too. I took my I took the liberty of adding my friend my findings to the alpha ball plant. Just keep hitting them plants for me, all right? All right, I'll be off exploring for more than plants. Might even meet you again along the way. Once y'all are finished, come find me in Rookie Harbor Alley uh, Alley Quarters. So that gives us access to the botanics menu. So getting drops from items will give us information about those plants. Uh, getting drops from plants, rather, get get us information. I 
can I hit that? No, the tree cover is too heavy, I think. Well, maybe? Hey. However, yeah, I need to actually be up there in order for that to be of any use to me. I think what makes this game so good for me, though, is the fact that there's a lot of, like, little discovery. Although sometimes those little discoveries are definitely behind some very large paths. But, uh, we're going to trail. Here we are. So where is Monsieur Grasshead? Don't tell me he's late. Blue hair experiment, sir. Finally, you've arrived. It is time for our duel. As for the location, the pla this place here is just perfect. Isn't it pr kind of proud of here? Why, well, that's exactly the point! People should witness the grace of this fair man to his fighting style! I see... Now there is no need- there, there is no reason to rush. Prepare yourself and tell me when you're ready to start. And don't even think about chickening out. Hell no, we're going to show you... Must I remind you the definition of a duel? It's Sparamancer versus Sparamancer. No pentapist. Me, me, I know. I'm gonna watch as Leah beats you up. Anyway, just talk to me when you're ready. And your stats are rather low. We're gonna hold on. Uh, hi. Hi. Are you a new player too? Hey, I mean, uh, can you help me with something? See, I need equipment. A bronze male. The offer at the armory of Rookie Harbor. I teleport back to the city and buy it myself, but the... I hate towns, they're always so crowded. So many people, signs and noises, I, I can't take it. So, uh, could you please buy a bronze male for me in Rookie Harbor? Of course I'll pay you back, so, uh, pretty please? Thanks, you're a lifesaver. I'll wait here for you. I can definitely understand the sentiment of, uh, not wanting to be in a crowded town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't actually trying to ignore your duel. I was just trying to get to that one quest giver. Anyway. Uh, 
uh, so we're still a bit low. So we're, we're gonna have to uh, build up a bit. Combat is definitely one of the best things in this game, though. It feels real good. Like, especially once you really get into the groove of it. to giga 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 grind yeah also we're at rank B now let's see if we can get some uh some of that meat that uh and that girl in town was talking about. friend Emily is a bit of a country girl. There we go, wrong hit. Low on each pink. There we go. She did say she had cows in her neighborhood. Not a whole lot of neighborhoods would have cows. I mean, my neighborhood has a cows, but that's actually, um, Kind of a dairy type of restaurant. That's some pretty good uh, ice cream. Did I say restaurant? I meant store. My brain has the dumb. Uh, let's see. I know landmarks. I'm a force of trees. I'm a thief. Islands of the market. So which line mark am I missing? Okay. Dang it. 
Right, I also need to find the other end of that cave. Because there is a prize waiting for us there. Halcyon Droplet. I feel like that's kind of important for something. So basically I need to get here. Also we haven't seen Dampener. Let's see if we can get over there. Thing in order to get um, do this, like that, I probably have to keep to the high path as much as possible. Can I? Uh, I guess not. Okay, what's down here? Quiet Passage 1. All of a sudden it's raining here. Hedgehogs. Hedgehogs den. Okay. Do I take them on? Ooh. Cooling veil. Ooh, that'll. Uh, okay, that'll drop my focus by one. Yeah, this is overall an upgrade. I think this is the only thing that, that I have right now. Finally found where all the Sonico see were hiding. Oh, you do have a spin attack. Now, oh, looks like that was a good call. Let's see what we get. 
Oh no. There's the blue one. A level 15. Oh no. You weren't entirely wrong, Scarlet. Took out Emily. <laughs> eh. No. And Emily's back. Oh, just narrowly avoided that one. Oh dear. Ow. And I'm dead. Ooh. That was the uh, bit too intense for me. Clearly, we need to kill more of their team. Yeah, that was a valiant attempt. It was just, I'm not really high enough level right now to deal with that. Let's see if I can reach past rank at least once in this dream.
Maybe I shouldn't have engaged all of these guys at once. God damn it. Stop getting in the way of the good targets. There it is. Yeah, I think I need a break. Ah, no break. Nope. Okay, well we did we did lose that combo, so at least I was able to show it off. Anyway, I got kind of super sidetracked. Um, rank S is needed to get some of the more exclusive drops. Um, so you can get some really cool stuff from traders with stuff that you get from like really difficult to reach areas and rank S drops and things like that. And also the higher your rank is, like if I if I'm at rank S, I'm going to have an easier time getting a rank B item than if I was rank B. What was the deal with this? Observe those who seek all elements of our duty. If you dare to seek our wisdom, then only what is broken can open this door. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, let's see, how much time is left? In about 35 minutes. Oh, we're gonna spend those 35 minutes enjoying something. So, Scarlet, let's do this. Oh. Nice! Thank you very much, Scarlet. In strange places in this world. The why? Okay, so I think at this point um, Alright, I don't think I actually oh, I need three things. Let's go back to ten. Right arm. 
That's interesting. You can compare it to just your base stat or the equipment that you have now. Like, there's a lot of detail. Anyway, let's buy one of each of these for myself. And also a bronze mail for our friend. Uh, let's see, check out. And also, that gave the opportunity to, um... Uh, that gave Emily the opportunity to upgrade her stuff as well. So if we go to here, you'll see now she has a full uh, complement of bronze equipment. What's up with this with us with this character? Um, simply put, they're an AFK. Like the you you basically play this game by putting like a VR helmet on your head. So this person has removed their VR helmet and is not actively playing but is still logged into the game. Um, let's go to here first. And here is your bronze mail. Thank you so much. Here, I'll pay you back the price, plus some extra, and also some items I found in Bergen Trail. It's not much, but maybe you can use it. I gotta go now. Thanks again. Oh, so we got an extra 300 uh, credits for that, and some pipe wood and frozen tear. And we leveled up. entirely sure that I'm going in the right direction to find that one guy. In fact, I'm almost certain I'm not. Thanks for dropping by, Tyrion. While well, I get hung up on how do I get to these things again.
Well, I got to this chest, so I can probably get up to that tree. Actually, right here. Okay, so that's two trees down. Is there something here? This is my, my instinct of curiosity, which I guess is appropriate since I am a kitty cat. Meow, meow, meow. Let's just find that one guy. Where is he? There he is. Welcome back, Leah. Were you able to find all the data I requested? Marvelous! I don't know what to say. With this, I might be able to piece together how they made this area. The ancients, I mean. Here, take this. I'm looking forward to working with you again. If you want, that is. Quite the peculiar fellow. Okay, let's... Because I am a bit of a, bit of a completionist. I'm... I'm going to, like, once I get to, like, high enough level, I might start skipping some quests, but right now, we're, um, we definitely are in, in need of a little, a little bit more mega fighting power. Let's see. So, there we go. So many subscreens in this game. Uh, so we need to see the fall divers. Uh, we need to find the thief near the park. No, 
also, if I can find don't have enough money for that right now. Yeah, that path is locked. It's your deal. Hey, are you you're interested in something real special? Creation gem. I mean, I'm interested, but that's way too expensive. Okay, great work. Rookie Harbor Marketplace. I would think that it's one of these people. Not one of you. Oh, it's you. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so I need two of these. I need two of these. I need one of these. I need to bring that to Gut Punch. Alright. Also, there should be a thief somewhere nearby. Possibly. I'm not over here. This one? I honestly forget where the thief is. Oh, there you are. No? Okay. Sorry, I just saw a shady person and assumed you were the thief and that's... That is incorrect of me, sir. I apologize. Are you the thief? Probably not. Ah, uh, where is it? Who's that dude? Hmm. Oh dear. Hey. <laughs> Didn't your father tell you not to startle people? Well, he clearly should have. Kids these days don't know their manners. Now, now, don't be sad. You At least you look like you're actually sorry. Now that's better. <laughs> hmm. I think I like your attitude. Look, if you want to make up for startling me, why not help me out? And don't look at me like that. It's not hard at all. All I want you to do is find me a broken gauntlet. Simple enough, right? Very good. Someone told me it was hidden in Autumn's room. 
Apparently there is an area where you have to defeat a lot of hedgehogs while it's raining. Do you think you can find it? I think I already have, but it's being protected by literally Sonic. Good to hear, but don't keep me waiting, right? This is an elite quest. Elite quests are difficult quests marked with an exclamation mark and a red outline. You know, on steam level, these quests can be very challenging, however, they offer better loot as you level over. Okay. What man just now? He looked like he was wearing gear from each last. Normally that should not be possible. I wonder how he managed to sneak this past the developers. You managed to get everything. Quickly, go to the pub at the, pub at the beginning of the park and give it to the bar the barkeep. Yeah. Words are hard. Girl, check this out. Sweet moves, huh? I'm sure you can rock them railings too. Want to try some moves? And try to reach them boxes back there without touching the ring. The ground. Just ollie up the box here and start riding those rails. What do you say? Ready to style? Sure, why not? Chill it out. God dang it, what's up with all these? Sonic references. Show me what you got. Hey, kill that sweet. Come back here, get your reward. Ah oh, yeah, that was sick, girl. Nice. May your mushrooms always be sautéed and your, on your onions always be grilled. The gravy, girl. I think this guy is hungry. Okay, so I think the pub that they want me to go to is around here. Also, there's a box there, which I'm very interested in obtaining. Don't think I can actually do it from there. Hey, Zero. Glad you can make it. These diagonals are not the easiest thing. Hmm. I don't think that's how you're supposed to get to that. Actually, why didn't I notice that before? That would have been a lot easier. Spice a bun. And finally, we are playing a game that doesn't involve having to ask who the real Zero is. We have discovered that once and for all. It was you, Austin. It was you all along. Hmm. 
Where is this friggin' D? Also, I keep getting friggin' sidetracked. <laughs> you use the box. Pick moves, bro. You need to go in here. There we go. Yes, we got some supplies. Mr. Nomsworth. It's a fantastic name. But what are his noms really worth? still have something. Uh, important business thing. Here is a collector in Autumn's Rise. Cool. It seems like they have not they have still not given those average crust NPCs more nuanced responses. Well, that is good news for us. Otherwise, doing side quests might be problematic with your limited means of communication. Yes, I'm sorry. We'll continue working on it now. Fall divers are over here. Welcome back! I see your training data went off without a hitch. Great job! Hopefully they'll stop Tuchel's from moping around. He's a great scout when he isn't a reckless airhead. He shouldn't be down over some lame misstep. Anyway, take this reward. I hope this. Uh, I hope to see you around for future ende future endeavors, future endeavors or quality time. Yeah. Tell you, man. Words. They are difficult. Leveling up. Sometimes also difficult. Hi, sweetie. You're right at just the right moment. You see, we just went through Tukos' data and found something interesting. Turns out that ambush on him wasn't just a random stroke of bad luck. Believe it or not, our information hints toward an organized band of hillcats that are performing coordinated strikes. They might have trailed Tuko specifically after spotting him doing the exploration. I know, right? You never, you never know what the track, but intelligent digging rodents. I guess we should have expected some intelligence uh, from those sneaky buggers with their fancy headsets. In any case, Tukos has already gone out again to find their hideout and requested a seeker to meet up with them. So how about it? Does that weirdness pique your interest? I knew you couldn't resist. Heck, I'd love to trade if not for those pesky responsibilities I have here. Tukos wanted, me, uh, Tukos wanted to wait for reinforcements at Path 5 and not in Autumn's Rise. If you're not keeping him waiting, he'll definitely want to meet you and give him uh, give his thanks for last time. Level are we, by the way? We are level nine. Civilian trigger. Mother's blade. Brawler. It's damaged by close combat attacks. Also, one thing that I haven't done in a while is, is the time hit circuit points. I should probably do that. Uh, dash art. I definitely want to throw art. 
Will rain or ball of steel? Ball of steel. Eh, let's go ball of rain. And as a refresher, if I want to switch to ball of steel, I can do that for free anytime. So throw arts. Start by aiming at your enemy. While aiming, press and hold R2 to charge. And change the direction and release to perform the attack. Dash arts. Dash into a direction and press R2 at the same time to dash to charge a dash art. Release R2 again to execute the art. And I Final Fantasy X is another game that I haven't played in a long time. Now kill some. Um, I can go try it. However, hmm, actually, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Because if you look here, this is a level 15 elite quest. Um. I might want to actually go do the other one first. The one that I was going to do and then I got distracted. I did get halfway there at level 6, but I'd rather do a lower level quest first. Just kind of sure up my numbers, I guess. Actually, wasn't it over here? Is this, no, this is halfway 4. Ah, there's my, there's my contact. Why do they always go and sit in weird places? About time someone showed up. And I hear you also helped us but uh, you also helped us out with that lost deal. You really saved my butt there. I'm gonna lost weeks of work if some critter had decided to eat it. We gotta make it count now. I'm sure the group that, that jumped me had a special leader with them. Cut that one down, they might just become a usual pack of beasts again. Right. I've already spotted that sneaky rat again and tailed it to the, their hiding spot. In a cave across the river, northeast of northeast of here. Follow me. All right, here we are. It seems quiet out here, but don't let that fool you. I didn't sense it leaving, so I should still be inside. So you go inside and deal with it, while I stay here and make sure no one enters or. Hey, don't give me that look. I'd love to sell that score myself, but extermination in the wild is speaker business. So go on and give it a good beating for me as well, will you? Angry Hellcat noises. Wow, this guy is 
Hey, little big deal. Oh jeez. It's spawned in a whole mess of them. Um, at least they're level 5. But still, it's a lot of them. We're gonna need to deal with this mess. Mysterious chest. Weird hill cat tech. Also, I just noticed the time, so I'm gonna turn in this quest and I'll be it for today. Hi. Ah, welcome back, partner. Judging by that satisfied look on your face and the noise you made in there, I assume you got it. <laughs> that should teach those things not to mess with the fall lag or pioneer. Seems like you also found something interesting. Let me have a look. Huh. It looks like some kind of data storage unit as well, but not the kind we would use. That Hillcat Big Shot had it, but it might, be, it might be extremely useful. HQ could definitely give it a thorough scan. Eh, here, take it back. I'm not gonna hog your glory after everything you did. See ya! Alright, I better get back and share my report. Till next time. Uh, let's see. Back to the fall divers. Figure it out. She's the Pokemon. Who's a Pokemon? Well, yeah. Fuck, Mac. From his bragging, I, it seems like you and Kukos had quite the adventure. Don't worry, his report was twice as much about you as it was about himself, which must mean a lot, I suppose. In any case, I'm more interested in this mysterious artifact you apparently found. Oh, interesting. It doesn't seem to be compatible with human tech. No other standard equipment, anyway. Don't you worry, we'll somehow crack this nut and get whatever useful information's in there. Just come back later and we'll fill you in on whatever we find. Hi. A level 15 weapon out of that. And a level up. Uh, they'll lower defense a little bit, but uh... We gain Bullseye, what's that? Hmm, increases crit damage. Sure. Let's go with that. Yeah, it's a bit weird, but I guess it kind of makes sense a little bit. Anyway. So, yeah, um... 
it is now 1 a.m., which means it is the end of the stream, I'm afraid. So let me just see here. Okay. All right, so I want to thank y'all for dropping by. Uh, who do we have here? We had uh, Jason, Jomara, Scarlet, um, Murphy Kings, Tyrion, and uh, Zero at the end there. The next schedule stream is tomorrow at uh, 3 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. Is a co creator stream where I'm probably going to try and bash my face against uh, Godot a little bit more and maybe get somewhere and maybe give up. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, and there's Jade at the very end. Um, so, hello and goodbye. Uh, the next stream after that is going to be on uh, Sunday at 7 30 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle. Where currently we have uh, how many people? Oh, we have five people signed up. We have uh, Bria, Mazzy, Luzio, Foose, and myself. And maybe we'll have some other people. You've been here for a couple of hours. I, if you said something, I didn't notice. I'm sorry. Yeah, there you are. I'm so sorry, Jade. I completely missed that you said things. I super apologize for that. Um, and yeah, um, the next stream after that is going to be around the, around the wheel to our next um, long run stream where we're going to play some more cross code. So with that, why do I have three crosscode windows? Sorry, I'm just kind of switching through things here. We're going to go raid Sussball, who's currently playing Baba is You. Um, she has a little bit of experience with this game uh, previously, but um, this is the first time that she is playing it on her own accord, so should be some fun. So with that, uh, wait a minute, did that not work? Oh, there we go. So I want to thank y'all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.